Hello guys, uh, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Laravel in Linux. Super easy tutorial, so just keep watching. At first, you have to download Jam, so just go and install Jam. Okay. If you don't know how to install Jam in Linux, I will add the video in the i buttons. In this video, I'm not going to show you how to install Jam because the video will be very long. So I'm assuming that you can install Jam in Linux. If you don't know how to do this, you may watch the video. The video will be given in the i button. Okay, that's it. Now uh, let me show you where the jam uh, is. Go to the file system, then go for the opt. Okay, then lamp because jam is known as lamp in Linux. Okay, so jam for basically window Windows. Uh, uh, we'd call it jam, right? But uh, for Linux, we call it lamp okay fine so here uh, we have ht docs so let's go to the ht docs here you can see ht docs now here we want to actually create the project so we'll actually create a project here right inside ht docs but before that we need to install composer so to install composer we have to actually open a terminal here okay just open the terminal and write down this command and here you can see this is the command for the Composer installation. Just copy this, okay, and go to the terminal and paste it here. It in that. Here you can see downloading. Okay, now uh, we have to actually make the file, okay. Uh, so we have to actually copy this command, okay. Just copy this command and go to the terminal once again and paste it here. It in that. Now we have to give the password so. Give the password, hit enter, and it's moved, right? Okay, now we can actually install uh, Laravel. So let's go to the uh, opt. So we have to go for the files, okay, this year, and then opt, the lamp, the, the lamp, then docs. And here you want to actually uh, clear the project. So open terminal here, just remove it from here. It's right first you have to say composer global require. Laravel slash installer fine now here I will say uh, Laravel new project name is a test plan okay hit enter and here you can see we can now install Laravel so which starter key do you like we will say none actually you know? uh, we will say none and which testing framework do you prefer? That's the best. Find now it's asking us that which database will you uh, application use. So we are going to go with the MySQL, right? So hit enter. And we don't want default database migration, so say no. Would you like to run npm install and yes, we will say yes. Hit enter. Now here you can see we successfully installed Laravel in our PC. Here you can see this is the project. If I open the project, here you can see we have all the uh, folder. We need to add an HTTP, right? Here we have controllers, right? Yeah. And now uh, one thing is we have to actually change the permission also. So let's go inside this project. We are uh, here currently in the inside HT docs, but not inside the project. So if I say here ls. Uh, here you can see we have test lara right so we'll say here cd test lara so it will change the directory and it will go to the test lara directory now we are it test lara so clear the screen now here we have to change the permission okay now we have to change the redirect permission so let's go add it okay just you have to add this copy it add it sudo change both okay hyphen r then sudden sudden file okay uh, so we are actually uh, make it you know read write okay we are giving the permission to read and write okay so uh, then storage then bootstrap cache okay then hit enter we just have to give the password done another you just have to open terminal here yeah see and then here you have to say php artisan serve that's it. And here you can see the server is running. So now if I want to 
in this server we just have to go to the browser and we just have to say here local host sorry host colon 8000 why let me show you here we can see uh, this is the port right 8000 and instead of this 127.0.0.1 we can actually write here local because this is uh, the you know number and instead of this number we can actually say here local host but the problem is here you can see a uh, connection diffused because we have it actually set mysql also so let's uh, go to the file system then opt then lamp and from here we have to actually token the gem but first and then we have to uh, start the connection mysql connection and then to create the database also okay so let's uh, open terminal here here you can see we are currently in opt okay opt then lamp and here we have to say ls and here you can see we have manager linux so just copy this and here we have to say sudo super user do dot slash then test the this manager okay and just type here the password so delete the password it enter command not found okay once again let's do this sudo and we have to say here manager manager linux x64 dot ra you enter and here you can see we have opened jam there so go to the manage server and start all of them or maybe you can actually individually select this mysql database and apache server here you can see all the server is running so now let's go and let me refresh here once again we have done same problem so we'll just go here at first local host slash php my admin hit enter and here we are going to create a new database let's say the database will be test lara underscore db okay so this is the database and let's copy this create it so now we have to go to the project directory so let's go and here we have to find the dot env file so let's open it in a port editor we have sublime text so let's open this folder here so what i have to do you have to actually just drag and drop it here that's it and here you have to find uh, the .env file so where is the .env file let me check here you can see .env so just go here and change the database name to underscore db okay now we have to actually uh, say here that okay i want to go to i have two terminal right here i okay so let's go inside it and open another terminal here and here we are going to say in hp artisan serve okay let's see uh, love freely we have to migrate it right okay so php artisan colon migrate it in that uh php artisan migrate sorry and it's migrated successfully now we have nothing to do with it so let's just remove all of them and now if i go to the browser if i refresh here it will open level 12 here you can see we have successfully installed level 12 in linux right this is quite easy i think and if i refresh on the database here you can see we record all the table right user sessions and all the things okay so i hope you understand uh if you have any confusion let me know in the comment section i will explain once again and i will make another video okay uh so that's it thank you so much for watching this video